However, when this is test seven section four, okay. All right, this number one. Uh, Peter opened the hardware store recently. The graph above shows the profit during the first ten business day. Okay, there is question. On which interval is the profit strictly increasing? All the way increasing. That is, we said strict. Okay. All right, one and three. From here to one and three, strictly decreasing. Okay, that's not the answer. Three and four, from here to here, yes, it is all the way increasing. Okay, choice B is the answer. Four and six, over here. Some part of this one increasing, but also decreasing together. That is not the answer, okay? Six to 10 is not working. All right, number two. X over Y equal to what is the value of this one? Maybe you can simplify. So this is one is out. So you got this one. X six times X over Y equals three over two. We already got X over Y equals two over there. This number is two. Okay. So six times two and this is cancelled out. Six times three is what? Eighteen is the answer. Or you can find right, uh, the value of x in terms of 2y, x equal to 2y. You can replace over here, okay? You get the same answer. These two are parallel lines, okay? The sum of two angles in the, in the same side, interior angles, must be equal to 180, right? They are supplementary. 2x plus 4x is just 6x. And minus minus 25 plus 10 is negative 15, that is equals to 180. So plus 15 is going to be 195. So x equals 195 over 6. Okay, that is 37.5. Okay, choice D is the answer. All right, here is number 4. x plus y equals 12, x minus y equals 4. What is this one? x squared minus y squared. x plus y, x minus y. That is equals 12 times 4 is 48. So you got the 48 in numerator. Now still we need to find the value of x. You can use addition of here, okay? 2x equals y minus y cancelled out. 12 plus 4 is 16. It's already 2x there. 2x is 16. That is equal to 3 is the answer, okay? Here in number 5, C is the total cost. C is the cost. And the T is the number of hours used. Claire rented a room for 5 years, 5 hours. She wants to add 2 more hours, okay? So 2 hours difference. Everywhere they're going to charge you 110 over here from here. You start 300 every hour, it increased by 110. So, we're going to find, okay, two hour difference from here to here, two hour difference. Okay, two hour difference. It was before over here, the total cost, new cost over here, right? Only what? Two hours difference. So, total is how much? 200. 20, right? 110 times 2, okay? You can do it, right? Increased, okay? Increased, but change in C over change in T, that is equals to 110, okay? 2 hours increased. What is increased in C, okay? Delta C equals to 2 times 110 is 220, okay? Right, number 5. Which interval the graph shows greatest average rate of change? Average rate of change is when you make the line, which is a secant, the slope of that secant is called average rate of change. Zero and two over here. Okay, this is zero and two, make the line over here. Slope of this secant is the average rate of change. But twin four over here, a little steepy, right? Twin four is a little steepy. But this is not. This is okay. 4 and 6 from here to here. This is 4 and 6. 
But still, this is more steep here, right? 8, 8 and 10 is what? Lower, okay? So choice B is the answer. Number 10, for what value of n, n minus 10, absolute less than 0? Absolute value cannot be negative number, okay? So there's no such number n, okay? No solution there. Number 8, f of negative 2 equals 3. We're going to decide the value of k. Put this number negative 2 there. So 4 minus 2, okay, minus 5, that is equals to 3, okay? From here, we can move to the right. 2k goes, what is that? This is negative 1, minus 3, negative 4, okay? So k goes negative 2. So f of x equals x squared minus negative 2x minus 5. That's the equation. After that, you can put this number x is 2 again, okay? So 4 minus 4 and minus 5, okay? So negative 5 is the answer. Let me see. Okay. All right, number 9. Yeah, company produces a smartphone for which weekly cost of producing n unit. This is the number of a unit. This is total cost. Also, number of units is a function of time. So what will be the increase in cost if the number unit increased by 100? This is increased by 100. Delta change in C over change in N equals still slope. This is right. Slope is a constant. So this is increased by 100. What is the increase in C? 40 times 100, right? $4,000 increase. The number 10, if the weekly cost increase $20,000, okay, how many hours will it take to produce the unit? You can replace this one, okay? C and I'm going to use the T now. In terms of T, 40, N is 30 T. 40 times 30 is what? 1,200 T N plus 800. Now, the cost is a function of time. But this one is 20,000. Okay, that is equals to 1200t plus 800. Subtract 800 over here. That is 192,100 equals 1200 times t. You can divide 1200 to zero out. Okay, so how much? 16, right? Uh, t equals this is 192 divided by 12 is 16. So 16 is the answer. Okay, this is number 11. What is the value of A? What is the value of A over here? Maybe you can express this with that easiest way. A plus B by equals what? 1 over this one, reciprocal, right? 1 over 3 plus I over 2 minus I. That is your reciprocal flip the number. 2 minus I going up, 3 plus I going down. Now we're going to simplify this right hand side. 3 minus I. 3 minus i. Okay? So, we're going to find the value of a. a is what real part. This is imaginary part. We already real part. This one is a real, okay? 3 plus i times 3 minus i is what? 3 squared is 9 minus i squared is plus 1. That is 10. But numerator, okay, which one will give right the real? 2 times 3 is real. 6 Negative i times negative i minus i square plus i square, right? That is real because this is a negative one. Okay, we don't need to find the imaginary. So 6 minus 1 is 5, 9 plus 1 is 10, 1 over 2 is the answer, okay? All right, number 12. So we have two lines that are perpendicular to this one. What is the value of A? The slope is negative reciprocal. What is the slope of this one? This slope is 1, so that slope is negative 3, okay? You this one. This is a y2. This is y1, okay? x2, x1. It doesn't matter. So y2 minus 1, 0 minus 1, 9 over A minus 0, okay? That is equal to negative 3. Okay? All right. 
So what is this? You can switch any times. A equals what? Negative 9 over this is going down is negative 3, okay? So A equals 3 is the answer, okay? Choice B is the answer. All right, number 13. What is correlation coefficient? When you take a look, this is increased by 0 0.5. This is increased by 0 0.25. The slope is a constant, so that means what? All this point on the same line. Okay, is that the same? A perfect. Okay, that is equals what? One is the answer. Okay, positive correlation. If this way, all point is less on this line. That is a negative one. This is R equals one. Okay. The number R of uh, fourteen. Triangle R S D. Angle R cosine the value of angle R equals sine of angle T. Okay. What that means? Sine and cosine equal R plus T must be equal to 90 degree, right? So the other angle also 90. This is a right triangle, okay? Right triangle. Okay, some of these two angles is 90, the other angle, right angle, okay? All right, here is the number 15. So f of x equal ax square plus bx plus c is shown in here. So which of the following? You know about this constant a, b, c. a is what? Graph is open downward and must be negative. This is wrong. What about the next one? Y-intercept? When x equal to y intercept is c, c is a positive, that's fine. What about b? How can you find b? Yes, x of symmetry, okay? What is x of symmetry? On the right hand side, x of symmetry must be positive. What is that? Negative b over 2a, is it? Okay? All right, so b is a negative, okay? I'm sorry, c is about positive, right? Okay, that's fine. Okay, over here, a must be negative over here. Must be negative. Negative B, it should be positive, right? Negative, negative, positive. So B should be positive, okay? So this is okay too, right? This is positive, okay? B over 2 must be positive, right? Right inside. So 23 is the answer. Okay, A, B is the solution of two system of equations. What is the value of A? Okay, A is what? X coordinate of solution. Okay, so better use the integer equation. Okay, times uh, 24, right? Times 24. So that is 2x minus y equals 3. Now we have uh, 5x plus 3y equals 2. To find the value of x coordinate, eliminate the value of y. Okay, times here's times 3. How much? 6x minus 3y equals to 9. Okay. Now let's move it. Plus 11x equals 11. So x equals 1 is the answer. Okay? That is the value of A. Number 17, 18. Okay? So 100 families at random from each two towns. They are all 100, 100. The results are shown in table above. Okay? There are total of each the bill is, is what, 10,000 people and uh, 15,000. The real population, this is 10,000. This is 15,000. So what is the median number of a pet for all families surveyed? In the middle, right? The total is 200. Approximately, okay? All right, the exact number divided by 2 is what? 100.5, okay? So we can check out the highest point, highest, right? This is the highest, 40. The next is about 35. This is 75, right? Another 35, that belongs to what? This one. That is okay? So the median will belongs to here or here, okay? So 2 is the median, okay? 
because what there is a pori is uh, the number one over here. There is a pori up here. Pori up to here. Pori is number one. One dog. After another thirty-five, there is the dog two. Okay, there is thirty-five. Only seventy-five, right? Okay, another thirty-five. So median belongs to over here, right? Okay, seventy-five plus thirty-five equals how much? Hundred ten, right? But we need a hundred. Okay, this is up to hundred ten, but hundred around up here inside. Okay. So this 35 is still the number pet is 2, okay? 2 is the answer. What is the expected total number of families who own 3 pet into college, into town? 3 pet. This one, 3 pet is 10. This one out of 100, right? 10 out of 100. 10%. So, this is 10%. So, 10,000, 10% how much? 1,000. Right, so fifteen another. This is fifteen percent total number of samples. Hundred, right? That is fifteen percent. Take fifteen percent of these numbers. Okay, point one five. Fifteen thousand. So two zero is out. Okay, twenty two, fifty. Right. So thirty two fifty is the total number of. Okay, families, okay, who own what three pet. Choice is the answer. All right, this is number 19. To find area of the circle, we need to find the radius, okay? Standard form of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared. This is standard form of a circle. Center is h and k, radius is r, okay? x squared negative plus half of this number, 3 squared, half of this number, negative 4 squared. That is equals to how much? This is 9, this is 16, we're going to add 9 and 16 both sides, 25, okay? That is r squared. What is the area? Pi r squared, right? Pi r squared is 25. That is 3.14 around 68.5, that's okay? Choice D is the answer. All right, number 20. A, B, B, C, C, D. That is what? 3, 2, 5, 2, 2. Okay? So they're going to have the right, same height. The ratio of their area is still what? If this is 3A, this is a 5A, uh, this is 2A, right? Still 3, 2, 5, 2, 2. That's right? So what is the area of the triangle E, B, C? E, B, C, this one. Where is it given? The sum of area said the region is 13. Sum of this one, the 5a. 5 equals 13. This also 5a, still 13 is the area of that triangle. Okay? Okay, the next 21 to 38 will be in next video, okay?